Hi, welcome to the final video in the Matrix Logic Puzzles series. In this video, we're going to go through what I would consider to be a pretty advanced example. So this problem is called Sports Fanatic. We have Jake LaCrosse, who's a confirmed sports fanatic. When he's not watching sports on TV, he plays four different sports with four different am amateur teams. One is the Lions. Right there, that's telling us that we probably are going to need to make the matrix ourselves. Each team practices on a different weeknight, Monday through Thursday, and games are held on weekends. That's probably just some extra information. That's not going to help us with the, the actual puzzle there, um, with the games being held on weekends. Jake has been with each team for a different number of years, from one to four. We're going to use the following clues to create a matrix and determine which team Jake practices with each night, the sport the team plays, and the number of years he's played on the team. So I'm going to read through these clues here to get a little gist of what's going on before we actually start marking it up. Number one, Jake has been on the hockey team longer than he's been with the Owls. Okay. Jake's stint with the football team is twice as long as with the Bears. So that's making me think that we're going to need to really use the relationship between the, the um, number of years he's been with each team. Uh, and the Bears practice two nights later than the basketball team. So there's a lot of ordering happening here, right? Because we're going to need to know like where in the week they practice and how many um, years. So there's a lot of sequential ordering. Uh, three says, Jake's been on the softball team, which does not practice Monday nights, longer than at least one team. There's that sequential ordering again. And four, the Tigers, who are not the football team, practice earlier in the week than the Owls do. So time is going to play a major role in this puzzle. All right, so this is a four-category matrix problem. So notice we have our six sub-matrices. Our categories are team, day, years and sport, right? And we have to repeat these two so we can get all ways of combining. And I've also put um, a little summary chart on here because I think it might come in handy if we fill it in as we learn things to um, actually learn more. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to set this up. So let's fill in the teams. Notice if we go back to the problem that was given, it said that one of the teams was the Lions. We can actually use my summary table here to write down these teams. So it mentioned the Lions the Owls, the Bears, and the Tigers. Days, it said that they practice Monday through Thursday. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And the years were one, two, three, and four. So we're just gonna do that over here with the years and the days. And then the sports, let's see, uh, they mentioned hockey, football, basketball, and softball. And now we're ready to go to clue number one. Jake has been on the hockey team longer than he's been with the owl. So there's a lot there we need to unpack. Hockey team, longer. So longer is talking about the number of years, right? He's been on hockey longer than something else. So let's look at the options here. We have one, two, three, or four years. If he's been on hockey longer than something else, well, then he couldn't have done hockey for only one year. We also know that he's been on hockey longer than the owls. So those are two different things, right? So hockey and owls don't go together. And then the other side of this is that he's been on hockey longer than the owls, right? So the owls, he couldn't have been on for the longest amount of time if he's been on something else longer than that. So I'm gonna cross off four for owls. Uh, so we got three things out of that first clue, not bad. I'm gonna move on to number two. Jake stint with the football team is twice as long as with the Bears. Football, he's been on twice as long compared to the Bears. So football, let's think about what he could be. Twice as long would mean that he'd have to be double something else, right? So he couldn't have been one. 
for football, and he couldn't have been three, right? If he was two, that would be double of one, and if he was four, that would be double of two. Now let's think of that from the Bears' perspective. So the Bears would be the number that gets doubled, right? So we just said that we would need to either double one or two. So the Bears can only be one or two, right? Think about that. If you doubled three years, that would mean he would be on football for six, right? That's not a possibility. Okay, what else can we do here? Football twice as long as bears means football isn't the bears. And then the other part of the clue, who practiced two nights later than the basketball team. He's, this is talking about the bears, right? The bears practiced two nights later than the basketball team. So we know that bears is not basketball. But let's go to the nights here. What, what are days of the week that they're practicing? So the bears practice two nights later so bears aren't practicing Monday or Tuesday, right? They'd have to be on Wednesday or Thursday. The bears are practicing later than the basketball team. So the other perspective would be that basketball practices earlier than the bears, right? So let's do basketball must happen either Monday or Tuesday, right? They can't happen Wednesday or Thursday. That would be too late in the week for that. All right, so we got a lot out of clue number two. Let's move on to three. Jake has been on the softball team, which doesn't practice Monday nights. Let's jot that down. Softball is not Monday. But he's been on the softball team longer than at least one other team. Okay, so see, if he's been on softball longer, he couldn't have been on softball for one year. And that left open one possibility for the one year. So that's great. We got some positive information. We know basketball was his one year. So it couldn't have been the other years. And now that we know some positive information, let's see what else we know about basketball. Basketball doesn't happen on Wednesday or Thursdays. So one year can't happen on one on Wednesdays or Thursdays. That was a nice bounce there. And then the other one is that if basketball is one year, but basketball is not the Bears, well then the Bears can't be one year. That leaves the Bears to be the two-year team. So nothing else is two years. And let's see if we can use that positive information now. We know that bears is two years, but the bears are not football. So football can't be two years. Football must be the four-year team. So four can't go with anything else there. And I think that covers everything we know Oh, there's one more thing here. Bears is two years. Bears is not Monday or Tuesday, so two years can't be Monday or Tuesday. Okay, I think we got everything now from clue number three. Number four, the Tigers, who are not the football team. So let's mark that off. Tigers is not football. The Tigers practice earlier in the week than the Owls do. So if Tigers are earlier in the week, they can't be on Thursday. And that would mean that the owls must practice after the tiger, so the owls can't be on Monday. So we also know that the tigers, the tigers are not the football team. And we know he's been on the football team for four years. Well, since the tigers are not football, then the tigers can't have been his four-year team. So there's a little bounce there. Doesn't look like it traditionally does. But that means that we know that the Lions are his four-year team. The Lions can't be anything else. And now remember we just said that the football team was four years. So that means the Lions, also the four years, right, must be football. So that was a bounce. And I think it's time that we can start filling in our summary. So we know that Lions is football. We also know that Lions was four years. We know Bears were two years. And we know something about the sports, but we're not able to fill that in on the chart because we have to know what team it would go with. All right, so we've used all these because I think it's time to go back and see if we can do something with this. 
Okay, Jake has been on the hockey team longer than he's been with the Owls. We know some stuff now. I'm gonna make a little note here. Hockey, so the hockey number of years has to be greater than Owls. Let's take a look at what the options are right now for hockey and the years. So hockey can be either two or three. Owls still has one or three left. So let's take a look at those options. Two or three, well, either of those is bigger than one, but two or three is not bigger than three. So that means we now know that the owls are one year. Meaning the tigers are the three-year team. So we can fill that in on our chart. So owls are one year, tigers are three. Now back to this clue, notice that we're not really sure which hockey is right now because two or three is, is still bigger than one, but it did help us figure out owls. Let's see if there's other stuff we could fill in in our chart. Let's work this backwards now. We know that the one year team is basketball. Well, the owls are one year. So this is great. We made a connection here for owls. The owls are the basketball team. And also notice that owls can't practice on Mondays. So basketball can't practice on Mondays, which means basketball must practice on Tuesdays. We can fill that in over here, Tuesday. That means that the owls must practice on Tuesdays. See how sometimes filling in the summary chart as you go is a little helpful with the, the balancing strategy is really what it comes down to. This also tells us that Tuesday and one have to go together. All right, let's see if we can get some more information from the clues that we've already used. So let's go back to number two. The stint with the football team is twice as long as with the bears. They already have that, we noticed that here. The Bears practice two nights later than the basketball team. So it must be like this. It must be basketball one night, another team, and then the Bears. So what do we know about this? We already know that the Owls are Tuesday. That is the basketball team. We know already that this is Tuesday. So this must be Wednesday and that puts the bears on Thursday. So I'll mark that both on my summary chart and up here, bears Thursday. And since bears is Thursday and it's the two-year team, the two-year team is Thursday. Okay, I'm gonna reread clue number three now. Jake's been on the softball team longer than at least one other team. So softball right now is Bears or Tigers, um, years two or three. I'm not really sure if we can distinguish between those since both of those put him at least uh, one year longer than other teams. Let's go to clue four. The Tigers, who are not the football team, practice earlier in the week than the Owls do. Okay, this is great. I'm gonna come back up here. We know that this is the Owls basketball team on Tuesdays. The Tigers practice earlier than the Owls, right? So if this was Monday, this must be the Tigers. So the Tigers are on Monday. Mark that over here, Tigers Monday. Which leaves the Lions for Wednesday. Wow, we are almost there. Okay, let's see what other connections we can make now. Um, Monday and three have to go together. We haven't marked that off yet. Let's see if that helps. So Wednesday and four also go together. We already knew that from the chart. Uh, let's see. We know that football is the Lions, the Lions is four, the Lions is Wednesday, so football 
must be on Wednesday. Could have just looked at the chart to figure that one out. And that leaves us with hockey being the only option for a Monday. Softball is Thursday. Perfect. So we can match that up right here. Hockey is Monday. So hockey is the Tigers. And the Bears are the softball team. All right. So these puzzles still can get harder, right? The series just works its way up in difficulty. I think the ordering um, is what makes the puzzles more of that advanced level. Um, but hopefully this was enough to get you started and get you really liking these types of puzzles. You can always get better. Um, I've been doing these for years and I hope you have enjoyed this series and will keep puzzling throughout your life. Bye now.